There are two key scientists who you need to know for Module 7 of the HSC Biology Syllabus, Robert Koch and Louis Pasteur. The main thing to remember is that you need to know what their key experiments were and why they're important to our understanding of infectious diseases and disorders. So let's start with Louis Pasteur. He was a French microbiologist working in the 1800s. He essentially disproved the prevailing theory of spontaneous generation in favour of the germ theory of disease. He did this through his swan neck flask experiment. What he did was he got two flasks with a swan neck so that air could not travel while that bend was in it. It's like a U-bend that we use in our sewage systems. He took these two flasks and he sterilised them by boiling them. This is now called pasteurisation. He then broke the neck of one of the flasks so that the airflow could be renewed. And what he observed was that only in the flask where there was air travelling in was there any microbial growth. The other one stayed completely sterile. What this proved is that all microorganisms come from pre-existing microorganisms and that they, they can travel through various vectors, such as the air. Our second scientist is Robert Koch, and he proposed his four postulates, Koch's postulates, which are essentially a way for us to detect where a disease is coming from in terms of its microbial origins. Now, you need to know these four steps, but they're pretty simple. Firstly, he had a diseased organism, and he took the microorganisms that were causing the disease, and he cultured them to obtain a pure culture. He then looked at it under a light microscope in order to determine its morphology. So what does it look like? How can we identify it? His second postulate was that you take this pure culture and you put it back into a healthy organism. The third step in his postulates was to observe any changes in that previously healthy organisms. Namely, does it develop any of the same symptoms as the originally sick organism? If it does, we then culture the microorganisms and try to see if there are any of the similar microorganisms as from the original sick animal. If these two microorganisms that we observe at point two and point four are the same, then we know that this microorganism is likely the cause of that disease. Using these postulates, Koch identified the causes of a number of different diseases such as anthrax. So as we can see, we've got these two experiments which are basically the foundation of modern microbiology and our understanding of how diseases spread from person to person. I hope you enjoyed.